Good morning everyone and welcome to Journal Lingo and Press. This is Shakur Nyaketu. 33-year-old Shakur Nyaketu found shelter in this apartment in Kenya's capital several weeks after he fled his home in Khartoum, Sudan. One day since fire has been very... Nyaketo, a teacher and journalist, says he took off with his seven-month pregnant wife after their home was attacked by the paramilitary rapid support forces. Nyaketo is out of work. He spends his time updating his followers on events in Sudan through podcasts. His one successful career in broadcasting and teaching, he says, is in limbo. Actually, it makes me feel very hopeless. Uh, it makes me feel very bad and stranded. I don't really know what to do and where to go and how even to do it. And uh, um, Because uh, in my country, um, I was very well established. I was doing my work, my business. Nyaketo is among the estimated 2 million civilians who have been displaced because of the armed conflict between rival factions of the military government of Sudan. Nyaketo says all things considered, he and his wife are doing all right. I'm in a safe place and um, I can access anything. I can access internet, I can communicate, I can go to media houses, I can, uh, my wife can be able to go to the uh, you know, hospital and everything, and we are expecting her to give birth in two or three weeks. Nyaketo is the exception. Most Sudanese refugees in Kenya are living at the Dadaab refugee camps, which are already home to hundreds of thousands of refugees from Somalia and South Sudan. In a report this month, Doctors Without Borders say the camp is already overcrowded with new arrivals and resources there that were already limited are now overstretched. A number of efforts to stop the war in Sudan have failed, but analysts like Masharia Munene, an international relations professor at the U.S. International University in Nairobi, say Kenya has a special interest in ending the conflict because the number of refugees arriving on its territory is growing. It's going to be a strain on the country. In fact, that's one of the main reasons why Kenya has to be involved in finding a solution there. So to once they are stable, the people don't have to run away. Many of the Sudanese refugees entering Kenya and other countries have no one to help them and are effectively abandoned, says Doctors Without Borders. Abdisalam Adan Mohammed runs a training center in Nairobi where refugees can learn a local language and other skills. He told VOA it's crucial for host countries to protect escaping Sudanese. To make sure that people can pass peacefully and then they create a safe houses for them in the border. To help the people who are running from the fighting, they are not traumatized and they have safety and, and then give them counseling. Kenya is host to more than 500,000 refugees and their numbers are growing as conflicts in the region continue to rage. Exiled civilians like Shakur hope they can return to a peaceful country one day soon. Victoria Amunga for VOA News, Nairobi.